Interstellar Newsflash Comet 3i Atlas just swung by the sun, and it got way brighter than expected. Around Oct 29 to 30, it reached perihelion, about 1.4 AU from the sun, just inside Mars's orbit, roughly 126 million miles. As it dove in, astronomers watched it surge to about ninth magnitude. That's fainter than the naked eye, but noticeably brighter than early forecasts. The likely culprit, visible gas emissions boiling off as it warmed up. Here's why this ice rock is special. It's not from our solar system. It's only the third well-observed interstellar visitor after Oumuamua Borisov new polarimetry hints it may be a distinct type of comet altogether. Its light-scattering fingerprint doesn't line up cleanly with the others or with ordinary comets. And the James Webb Space Telescope just dropped a twist. Evidence points to material heavily processed by galactic cosmic rays. Translation, this isn't pristine stuff from its birth environment. It's been out there for billions of years getting reshaped by the galaxy. Early estimates put its age between 3 and 11 billion years. Despite a U.S. government shutdown pausing NASA mission data sharing since Octa-1, ESA's Mars Express, ExoMars, Trace, Gas Orbiter, TGO caught it as a faint, fuzzy dot. Looking ahead, ESA's JUICE will attempt observations in November with CAMERA's spectrometer's particle sensor. There's even talk of coordinating with NASA's Europa Clipper. For backyard sky watchers, starting November 11th, you should be able to catch 3i Atlas in the pre-dawn sky with a telescope. It'll reappear from behind the sun by early December and make its closest Earth approach on December 19th, about 168 million miles away. Safe, distant, and perfect for more science. Want to see it without gear? The Virtual Telescope Project is hosting a live event on Nov 17 at 0415 UTC, streaming real-time images from their robotic scopes in Italy. Big picture, we're watching an ancient interstellar traveler brighten, vent gas, and reveal that not all comets are built the same. Over the next weeks, expect sharper images, richer spectra, and better clues to where this thing came from, and how deep space has been remodeling it for eons. Follow for updates and set that alarm for the pre-dawn sky. Interstellar season isn't over yet.